you're gonna want to watch this. We scoured all of Houston to find a neighborhood that was offering some crazy incentives. In fact, there are homes in this neighborhood selling today at $223,000. Now that is the lowest price, but even at the highest price, some of these homes aren't even $300,000. And we've got four different builders that are all offering totally different floor plans, different sizes, different configurations that we're gonna show you here in just a second. But where are we? We're actually in Magnolia, Texas. And you would think that with a really low price tag, would probably come a crummy area, but that is not the case here. In fact, we are crammed right in between some multi-million dollar neighborhoods. If you don't know of Blue Jack, it's Tiger Woods signature golf course. His only golf course in the country is right across the street from these $223,000 homes. There's tons of development going on. And so if you're looking for a deal, this is gonna be it. And if you're saying, man, I wanna wait until the interest rates come back down. I can't buy at 8%. Well, I don't blame you, but guess what? These builders have taken that hurdle away and some of them are buying your interest rates down all the way to five and a half percent. You're gonna have to stick around to hear about those incentives, but let's go check out our first house. All right, so our first builder we are checking out today is Castle Rock Communities. And out of the four different builders, I would position Castle Rock as probably the more luxury feeling builder. Out of all of the ones out here, they're gonna have the most options for you. As you can see, it's super open in here and you've got these really more modern handrails. This definitely has more of like a modern California vibe to it. I love the French oak luxury vinyl plank flooring. Now Castle Rock is building out here on 45 foot lots. And if you don't know what that means, it just means the front width of the lot is 45 feet wide. And so you're gonna have some builders out here that are 40 foot products, others that are 50s. Castle Rock is right there in the middle on 45 foot lots. Now, come on over here, you'll see that the kitchen and the living room kind of flow seamlessly together. It gives it that kind of nice open concept that you want. And guys, these aren't small homes. This model home that you see right here is actually 2,500 square feet. So you've got your kind of formal dining kitchenette area over here, your kitchen island. You've got your deep farmhouse sinks. And this home is actually gonna come with your stainless steel appliance package. Now, Castle Rock, out of the different builders, as I mentioned, is gonna be on the higher end of some of these. And so your prices are actually gonna start in their base model, which is around 1,400 square feet, around $250,000, but you're getting a lot for that money. Now, I do want you to check out the backyard because it does have a really nice size back patio. This is going to be uh, an optional feature for you. So. You know, it is fall, it's great weather right now. We're gonna take as much of it as we can get here in Texas, but you do have that on this nice back patio. Now this is an oversized lot for this neighborhood. Most of the lots are gonna be a little bit smaller, but that gives you a good idea of what the backyard could look like. Now, up at the front of the house, you actually have an office, and then you're gonna have your two car garage, which is standard. But what I wanna do is I wanna show you this primary suite. So as you come in here, this room is no joke. This isn't a tiny primary suite. This is as big as what you're gonna see in five, $600,000 homes. And I love what their designers did. They did this accent wall, doesn't come standard. Obviously they paid some people to trick these houses out and make them look better. But for not that much money, you can do that as well. So coming in here, you've got a little bit of a, a galley style bathroom. You've got dual vanities, so you and your spouse can get ready together. And then you've got the, sh the shower and the tub. I do like these walk-in showers. I love the subway tile, it looks good. You got your restroom in here, and then you do have a pretty good size walk-in closet. And what I like about this one is it actually utilizes the space here under the staircase. If you don't know what these are, this is your at-home control panel. All of these homes these days are smart homes, and so whenever you move in, you're gonna get the ring doorbells, you're gonna get a lot of cool bells and whistles. If you wanted to hook up a security system, Wi-Fi, all of that is gonna be run into this one panel right here in the master closet. Now, before we go upstairs, you got your little guest bath right here, and then we're gonna head on up. Now, I love family homes, but I don't think it's a big family home unless you have that secondary living space. And this is a very large upstairs playroom. I could see it being a great room for either the little kiddos to have their toys or for the big kiddos or yourself to have yourself a separate movie room. And then you head right on this way and you've got the other bedrooms up here. And so we'll pop in here real quick. Love the design. Once again, they've got good designers, but you do have a good size walk-in closet over here. And so even though they're smaller homes at 2,500 square feet, they're doing a good job of allocating the square footage. So as we head into here, they've got this bedroom set up as a nursery. And then this one's not a walk-in closet, but it's still got a good amount of hanging space. And this is gonna be one of the smaller of the bedrooms. Now this is a four bedroom home. And so the three bedrooms upstairs are going to share this bathroom right here. 
And then last but not least, you've got another pretty good sized bedroom. This one's probably on the larger side. Well, pretty elevated views. A couple more things about this builder before we head on over to our next. This builder is going to have floor plans that go up to 2,500 square feet. That's gonna be their largest home, which is this model right here. And you can still get this model for around the $300,000 price point. Now, as I mentioned, some of these builders are offering crazy incentives. Castle Rock right now at the time of shooting this video, so it depends on where you're watching it, if they're still offering this, but before the end of this year, they're actually buying people's interest rates down to under 6%. So they're in the fives. I think it's 5.99%. Now, some of these builders are also knocking money off of the sales price or they're paying for your closing costs for you. And so they're obviously subject to change, but as it stands right now, their incentives right now are crazy. Okay, this is gonna blow your mind again. We're in the Century Communities model home. And as I mentioned, this floor plan is 3,075 square feet. This is a five bedroom home. Come on in here. All of the bedrooms in this home are massive. Now they have this one staged as a home office, which I don't blame them. If you don't need a five bedroom home, you could use this as an office. It's got great, use, great views of the front yard. But look at this. This is not normal for an office. I mean, this is a massive walk-in closet. I mean, this thing is, this thing is huge. No, oh, didn't touch. All right, anyways, so come on in here. Let's check out the living room. This home's really well appointed. Obviously, it's staged with decorators like all model homes, but you've got the luxury vinyl plank. This is a gray look, modern flooring. We'll come back to the garage and laundry room. You do have your half bath here, which is really nice right off the main living area, but come on in here. This is nice and open. This is a really good sized kitchen, and you've got some really nice features. You've got granite countertops. You've got the more modern white look cabinets. These are 42 inch cabinets. They're very big very good size and the thing that i love about century communities that's going to be different from all of the other builders out here is what you see is what you get and what i mean by that is a lot of builders will upcharge you for all of these additional add-ons we're talking some builders garage door openers aren't included some builders blinds aren't included as i said earlier some some builders don't even give you grass in the backyard or sprinkler systems with century communities everything that you see you get in fact this model home doesn't even have blinds but they're gonna give you blinds. They're gonna give you stainless steel appliances, uh, dishwasher. They're gonna also give you the fridge, which doesn't come with all of the different builders. You've got pretty open concept, well-defined living space. You've got your kitchenette over there. Uh, you got your back patio. Also pretty good sized backyard here too um, for the model home. Before we go upstairs though, I gotta show you this primary suite. Now, this place gets amazing natural light. Keith, where are you going? You told me to film from over here. Anyways, this place gets amazing natural light. I don't know what's going on here, but I, I think I like it if we have some good bird sound effects. Um, this is a king size bed. These are massive side tables. I mean, literally these are like double side tables. So this is a very big room. So you got nine foot ceilings, that's great. And then come on in here. They actually just nix the tub. They give you a massive walk-in shower, very good size, dual vanities. Once again, a lot of builders in this price point are going to go with lower quality countertops when you leave the kitchen. Not the case here, you've got granite. And then huge walk-in closet. I love this walk-in closet. It's got like a little nook over here as well. So overall, the living experience, having that primary suite here on the first floor, it's gonna make it super livable, but we still have so much to check out upstairs. Okay, this is a massive upstairs. What I actually love about this floor plan, and this is how I have my house set up, is there's no overflow space. The upstairs is completely separate. I know some people like that big kind of open living room downstairs. Me personally, I actually don't like that. I mean, this is huge. This is a massive playroom, incredible fake TV. But I mean, this is, I mean, this is no joke. In fact, I need to ask them where they got this sofa. But look at how much room is up here. I mean, this is over 3,000 square feet. This is a true five bedroom family home. I mean, you got more room up here I don't know, the kids could study, do their homework. But this is the cool part, you gotta check out these bedrooms. This is like a whole other primary suite. This is a queen size bed. Once again, huge unnecessary nightstands. I think this is a dresser, I don't even think that's a nightstand. And then you come over here, once again I disappear. Big walk-in closets, tons of natural light, great windows. And I was like, okay, well, I'm walking this home. This is probably the big bedroom and the others are gonna be smaller. You've got one of your bathrooms right over here. But then you come this way, plenty of room. Let's see, are, this, are the bedrooms smaller? No, they're not smaller. They are, once again, they are massive. These rooms are huge and there's five of them. Walk-in closet over here too. 
all for around 2,500 bucks a month, you really, really, really can't beat that. Now, one thing that I like here, this is a three and a half bathroom home. So you actually have two full baths upstairs. So as opposed to some of the other floor plans out here, you're not sharing uh, out of the three bedrooms up here. And then they've done it again, huge kids room. So pretty good sized bed, plenty of room to hang out. So that's the thing I love about Century Communities personally. They just do a really good job of jam packing the home with tons of amenities. Now, once again, this is their biggest floor plan. If you want something smaller, you're gonna be able to get something right around $250,000. I think something we overlooked earlier, they're also giving you 3% in closing costs. 3% in closing costs is going to essentially cover pretty much everything but your down payment. So if you come out here, be sure to get this deal. Okay, before we head to our next house, I haven't really told you where we are. Now, yes, we are in Magnolia, but the neighborhood that we're in is Magnolia Springs. And this is a Signorelli development. And as I mentioned, it's got four different builders. But what I love about it is its location. Magnolia is a very big area, but this neighborhood specifically is smack dab in between some of the nicest large acreage communities here in Magnolia. I mean, literally right next door, you've got High Meadow Estates, which is a multi-million dollar luxury acreage community. And then on the other side of this, they're developing High Meadow West, which is even nicer homes. And then across the street is Blue Jack, where they sell like three to five million dollar homes. So you're smack dab in the middle of a really nice, safe area, and you've got great schools. This all feeds into Magnolia ISD, and so you're gonna go through the elementary schools all the way up, and the students that go to high school are gonna end up over in Magnolia West, which is actually right near downtown Magnolia. So you're not far from local amenities, you've got great shopping, and the crazy thing is everything is headed this way. Everything is moving out to Magnolia. You're in a fantastic location because you're just a few minutes away from the new Aggie Expressway, which is Highway 249, which actually is a toll road where you can go 80 miles an hour and shoot straight on down into Houston. And then right across the street from here, two developers, Johnson Development and another very large developer I can't disclose right now, have bought thousands of acres of land and are gonna continue to bring commercial development right up to the front of this neighborhood. So now that you know a little bit about it, let me tell you the tax rate. The tax rate comes in at a whopping 3%, which is actually still very good for new construction communities. Now let's go check out our next home. All right, now we are inside of the First America Homes model, and this builder is actually owned by Signorelli, the developer. So this is the developer's builder. And one of the things you need to know about that is they get a lot of feedback from what sells and what doesn't. And so they have come up with nine different floor plans that I think you're going to love. Now we are in one of their mid-sized floor plans. What I mean by that is they've got homes starting at 1,200 square feet, which is gonna be the smallest product out here. And then they've got them going all the way up to about 2,100 square feet. So the home that we're in, is a 1900 square foot, one and a half story, essentially. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. But right when you enter, you've got this pretty interesting living room. I haven't seen anything like this. They've got the one beam going up that's gonna take you to your upstairs. And so this is really kind of a welcome area, but this is the formal living room. So you'd have a TV here typically. I don't know why they have art, um, but it is a pretty good size space. Once again, modern color palette. You got the beam, it matches the floors. These are two of your bedrooms. We'll come back to those because what I want you to do is see how unique this floor plan is. If you follow me, you come in here, you've got the kitchen. This is going to be um, obviously where you cook, but you've got the granite in here and their prices here. Their prices are almost as low as that thumbnail we showed you. Their prices here start at $225,000. Now, what's gonna be different about this builder and the next builder that we see compared to the first two is they're really gonna strip these homes down to give you the lowest possible price. Now, you can still get all of the bells and whistles, you can add those back in, but you don't have to buy them. So if you want a really low purchase price, you're gonna get that. Now this home being 1,900 square feet, you can get it right around $275,000. Now let's show you the rest of the place. Um, pretty cool kitchen layout actually. You have a peninsula, not an island. You got the stainless steel packages. I love these modern gray shaker cabinets. So yeah, to me, this is a nice, clean, modern kitchen. If you flip over this way, you've got your kitchenette area. It's got the windows that open up, get you some natural light. Uh, you're currently standing in a closet right now, which is pretty cool, good extra storage. But then off of the back, you are gonna have a nice covered patio. But if you follow me in here, you've got the primary suite. And it's got the nice little touch point. It's got the tray ceiling. It goes from nine to full 10 foot ceilings in here. And this is not some narrow little walkway. There's plenty of room here. You got the dresser, you could have a TV. You could literally have a chair over here in the corner, a Peloton even if you wanna exercise. 
And then when you come over here into the master bathroom, you'll notice it's a pretty good size. It's actually bigger than a lot of the ones that we've seen. It opens up, you've got the tub, you've got a massive window for people to watch you showering or bathing. Um, and then you've got dual vanities. Now, when it comes to this price point, you saw that you had granite in the kitchen. Unless you upgrade, if you want those low base prices, which is why you clicked on this video, you've got Formica. It's not a big deal, it's not a bad thing, it's just different. So you get what you pay for. If you wanna to upgrade to granite, you can. You got your toilet in here. And then if you follow me, we're gonna head back up to those bedrooms that we talked about. You got a little hallway here. These are both set up as offices. These wouldn't be home offices. Come on in here, you got one of your bedrooms. It's just kind of tough to see when it's not staged. You know, that's the benefit of these model homes when they're staged, you can really see them for what they are. This is one of your downstairs bathrooms. Once again, you got Formica, the shower tub combo. And then you come in here, you got your window, and you've got another bedroom. But let's head on upstairs and show you what this one and a half story really feels like. Now, as we head upstairs, you got two things going on. Right here, you actually have the upstairs living room. Now, they have repurposed this and they're using it as their design center. If you do a dirt build here, meaning you pick everything out, you can see how many options you got. You got all your carpets and they got two full panels of it, your granite countertops, even your stone choices, or your Formica countertops if you want that best deal. And then if you walk right over this way, you've got your upstairs bathroom. Really clean color palette, shower tub combo. And this bedroom's actually probably the biggest guest bedroom. The downstairs ones felt a little bit smaller, pretty good sized bed. I think this is a queen or a full. Got your window, good natural light, your closet over here in the corner. And when it comes to incentives with First America, you're gonna have some pretty good incentive options. So let's head back downstairs and I'm gonna tell you about them. So you're probably wondering what the incentives are on this house because you want the best deal. Well, let me tell you what the best deal is. The best deal is if you're looking to move to Houston and you wanna know everything there is to know about it, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We put out content every single week for people just like you looking to move to Houston. My name is Kyler Ferris. We get calls, texts, and emails every single day from people just like you looking to move to Houston, but they're looking for the best deal. And so if that is you, don't be shy. Just give us a call, shoot us a text, send us a quick email. That way we can help you make a smooth move right here to Houston, Texas. Now, they do have an incentive. The deal here at First America Homes is they'll either offer you $15,000 that you can apply towards your closing costs, or they will buy your rate down to 4.99% for two years. So it's called a two-one buy down. If you're not familiar with this, what they're doing is they're taking a bunch of money and they're buying down your rate to 5% for the first year, 6% for the second year, and then it would go on up to 7%. But the reason they're temporarily buying it down is because everybody in the business, including myself, I do expect that the rates will come down. Now, will they come down in the next year? Probably not, but will they come down in two years? More than likely so. And so getting that interest rate lower now is going to ultimately bring that monthly payment down which let's be honest, that's really what you're focused on is that monthly payment. So those are the current incentives right here with First America Homes. Last but not least, we are in Roush Coleman's model home. And this is what the thumbnail is that you clicked on. This is where you can get homes starting at $223,000. Now these are gonna be on 40 foot lots. These are gonna be the smaller lots out here. And they're actually gonna have homes starting around 1,250 square feet, going up to right around 2,000 square feet. Now. Their prices start at 223. The model home that we're in is called the Ridgeland. It's 1,450 square feet, and it has got four bedrooms and two baths. And as you can see, this is it. You got the kitchen here, you got granite countertops, you got the luxury vinyl plank. You do have the stainless steel appliances, but the microwave, gas cooktops, pretty good size sink. You've got your dishwasher here and the fridge. Now, the thing that sets Roush Coleman apart from the others, they are a value builder. And what I mean by that is, Everything isn't included, but their prices start a lot lower. And so when their prices start a lot lower, if you wanna get in for those really low price tags, you can actually do that with this builder. Now that doesn't mean that they don't offer all of the same things other builders do, but it's more a la carte. You can add it as you go. So anyways, that was the kitchen. You got your kind of informal dining area here. Get some natural light with the windows. I do like, they've got plenty of recessed lighting in here. So it actually gets really great light. And then I do, like that you've got the option for the extended covered back patio. Come on out here. It's quiet, it's peaceful. That's the other benefit of living here in Magnolia is it is quiet out here. You are, you are out here. There's not a lot going on other than construction. It's peaceful and I really like that. 
So coming back this way, you're gonna have your primary suite, and it's pretty good size. You got a king bed in here, two good size nightstands, once again, nine foot ceilings, views of the backyard, energy efficient windows, and if you peek in there real quick, you're gonna see the bathroom. Now, because you're getting these lower price tags, you do have Formica countertops, it's a single vanity, still got your little makeup counter, no bath, you've got a, a full walk-in shower, pretty good size primary suite closet though too, to store all of your clothes, and then if you follow me this way, this is gonna branch off. You're gonna have your different bedrooms. So right over here, you've got your laundry room. And once again, when you're at 1,450 square feet, it's not big. That's not what you're getting. It's inexpensive. That's what you're paying for here. So you got this. What I do like, I wanna pull you in here. This is a bedroom, but this is also where you can come in and select your finishes in the home. And so they make it really simple for you. If you wanna come in and pick your brick, if you're doing a dirt build, you can do that. You've got your tile, you've got your luxury vinyl plank. You can come over here, you got plenty of granite selections too. They also have quartz, which I like. And I really like the color palettes for the cabinets. They're more modern, it's kind of what I like, but they do have traditional options as well. So this is one of the four bedrooms, um, but this is also gonna be your design center. Now, if you want the best deal on a home, you're probably not gonna pick everything out. You're probably just gonna buy one of their inventory homes. Now, this is the second bath. It is a two bath home, so you got that right here. And then this is your third bedroom. Um, not massive, not tiny. It's kind of what you'd expect in a home that's under 1,500 square feet, but still plenty of closet space. And it's an extra bedroom. And then you got the fourth one right across the hall over here. So coming in here, they got this one set up more as a kid's room. I like how it's decorated. Still plenty of hanging space in the closet. Now, they do have incentives. Now their incentives right now with Roush Coleman are on their inventory homes. So they might give you a credit in the design center if you do a dirt build, but right now, and this is subject to change, you can expect them to give you a 4% credit to be a flex incentive, meaning 4% of the sales price, so roughly $10,000 that you could buy your interest rate down with, you could pay towards closing costs, possibly lower the sales price. They don't like to do that though. I just wanna throw that out there. So anyways, they got some great incentives, but if you're trying to get out here and you like the neighborhood, you like the area, you like the schools, you like all the development, you like that this is a really good appreciating asset in a highly desirable area, then this is going to be your value builder. This is gonna be the absolute lowest price point right here in Magnolia Springs. Well, that is it for today. The sun is setting and depending on when you're watching this video, the sun could be setting on these deals. So if you are looking to move to Magnolia and you want new construction and you want a low interest rate that you didn't even know existed, you wanna be in great schools right next to multi-million dollar homes in a neighborhood with a splash pad, with a home warranty, I mean, the list goes on, then you're gonna wanna check out Magnolia and Springs. And if you're not too familiar with the area, check out our vlog on Magnolia. It will tell you everything you need to know about this booming area. But as always, if you're thinking about moving here, don't be shy. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us a quick email. That way we can help you make a smooth move right here to Magnolia Springs.